making sure that people understood the significance of that space. But that space was one of the earliest and largest slave ports in the history of this country. And then from there, after laying a reef, we walked from there to the state house, which by the way was a building that was built by the hands of the slave. And then was sworn in in that exact spot a little after 12 o'clock as the 63rd governor of the state and first African American. Yeah. Yeah. The intentionality behind what we do. It's not an accident. And it's not indoctrination. It's history. Yes. It's understanding that the power of our state, the power of our communities, the power of our, of, our, of our being is the fact that our history has been uneven. And still we rise. Yes. And we do it together and we do it collectively. The power of this space is an understanding that in order for us to truly move forward, it means we must appreciate the hands and the lives that got us this far. That believed that there could be a better tomorrow. Sure. That understood. That's right, who showed us the way. And who showed us that the only way that we were going to lead was with love. That the only way that we were going to advance was to, be to, was to do it together. That the ones who showed us that joy comes in the morning. That was the message. That was the spirit. And so it's not just the beauty of the yard, the beauty of this place. It's not just the celebration of those who came before us. But I get a chance to look at these beautiful, beautiful babies over here and say, you ain't understand what Never forget your lineage. Never forget your DNA. Never forget where you come from. Never forget the, que the kings and queens that are your ancestors. Never forget who you're the descendants of. Never forget that there is never a room that you don't belong in. I know for a fact that because of places like this, I know for a fact that there is never a room that I don't belong in. I know for a fact that it's because of places like this, places that remind me who I am. Places that remind me of the foundation that I stand on. Places that remind me that I can see higher because I know the shoulders that I stand on. But they remind me every single day that I'm never in a room because of someone's benevolence. I am never in a room because of someone's kindness. I'm never in a room because of someone's social experiment. I'm never in a room because someone wants to spread the diversity into a room. I'm in that room because that room would be incomplete if I was not there. And so Canard is a celebration. It's not just a celebration of where we've been. It's a celebration of where we're going. It's not just an acknowledgement of our past. It's a celebration of our future. It's what we can do collectively. What we can do together. How beautiful and bold our state can be when we focus on actually building a state where we root for each other. Yes, 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 yes. How beautiful our state can be when we stop worrying about where the idea came from, then is it a good idea? That when we do that, when we celebrate that heart, that vision, that commitment, that sacrifice, that promise, then we know that there is nothing that can stop us. And you know how we know? Because it was written long before we ever showed up. That's right. We're simply walking in the space. Yes. And so I'm thankful to be here with each and every one of you today. 
I'm thankful to be here with each and every one of you tomorrow. I'm thankful to be each and every one of y'all for the next eight years. I'm thankful to be the for the fact that all of our history is going to be written together. Yes. And it's going to be a beautiful story to tell with about 6.3 million hands that are all on the panel. Yes. So God bless you all. Thank you for all your continuity. Thank you.